Obviously, this is, this is symbolic of the nation of Israel and how you know, Jesus Christ came on his own, his own received him not. God was preparing a place for them and they just rejected, oh no, I've got this going, I've got that going on. But that makes God angry. And we can see that from this parable. We can see that from this story. When, when people are just putting other things first. Well, yeah, you know, I want to do that, but it doesn't really work out. Well, I want to come to church on Sunday, but you, I mean, there's a great big football game on. You know, I can't miss it. It's my team. You understand. We haven't been in the playoffs in like 30 years. I can't come to church. What are you kidding me? I'll go next week. Yeah, right. We can look at that and laugh. I can look at that and just laugh and be like, you fool. Because there's a lot of foolish things. Some game is taking precedence. But imagine how God actually feels about that. A game. A game. People are throwing a stupid ball around and running into an end zone. Yahoo! I made it all the way without someone tackling me to the ground. Who cares? Really, who cares? So many people need to wake up to that. I, I understand what it's like to get excited about games. I was in all that stuff, but now I can look at it and just go, what a bunch of foolishness. You want to play some games? Great, it's fun. I, I like playing the games too, but I mean, cheering and rooting and getting all worked up and excited over other people playing a game. And then you let that become your reason to not follow Christ. Do we see Christ saying, no, I'm not going to go and, you know, I can just go and do that tomorrow. I'm going to go heal those people. I'm going to go preach to the poor tomorrow because today there's this great, you know, there's this great uh, battle going on at the Colosseum. And, and I want to go, I want to go check that out. You don't see that happening. 